So characteristics of sensors, here we are going to discuss static characteristics of sensors. Static characteristics means those characteristics which are not changing with respect to time. If at all there is a change, that change will be very slow. So, suppose say here in discussing sta static characteristics, there are several characteristics. We are going to discuss it with an ammeter. Suppose say in an ammeter, we are having an ammeter where we are able to measure the current from 0 to 5 ampere. So that range from 0 to 5 ampere, that is called as range. So that means uh, the, this particular device working between that minimum and maximum. So that is called as range. Span. Span means here we are able to measure up to 5 ampere. So that 5 ampere is the maximum value that we are able to measure. So that is highest input. That is what we call as span. Now accuracy. Error. Error means even though in a circuit the actual current will be some 4 ampere but we will be getting some measurement as 4.5 ampere. That means that 0.5 is an error. So 0.5 is the measured value, 4 ampere is the actual value. So the difference between measured value and the actual input value, that is what we call as error. Then accuracy. Accuracy means, uh, suppose at a time we have measured the current. The actual current was 4 ampere but we got 4.5 ampere. After some time we will be getting 4.3 ampere. Then after some time uh, we will be getting 4.6 ampere like that. But here in all three cases there is error. But the maximum error is 0.6 and that is what we called as accuracy. The highest deviation of value. Now sensitivity. Sensitivity means suppose here we are changing the input. When we are changing the input there will be a change in output. That ratio is called sensitivity. When we are changing the input there will be a change in output too. So the ratio of change in output to change in input is what we call as sensitivity. Hysteresis means suppose we are increasing the current in a circuit by decreasing the resistance. When we increase suppose now the current was 1 ampere and now we decrease the resistance so that the current become 2 ampere. Anyway, we can also decrease the res increase the resistance such that the current changes from 2 ampere to 1 ampere. In both cases, we will be getting different set of reading. And that max that maximum difference in the input when applied in opposite direction. When we are increasing the current, we will be getting a different set of values. When we are decreasing the current, we will be getting a different set of values. And that difference can be called as hysteresis. Now, linearity. Linearity means if the, the output is proportional to input, we can say that it is linear. Repeatability means, suppose now we are doing an experiment and we are getting different set of outputs. Now, we will be giving the same input and in throughout the same experiment and we will be getting the output. In electronic system, uh, sometimes the part may get heated up and the output for the same input may change during the experiment. So if the output for the same input is constant during an experiment, we will call it as repeatability. Reproducibility means we are conducting the experiment at a different times. Suppose today we will come and we will give an input to 2 ampere and we will get an output. Tomorrow we will come and we will give the same input but uh, we will be getting another output. So the degree of closeness of these measured values at different times can be called as reproducibility. Now stability. Stability means at the same input the output should be same. That the device can be called as stable. Dead band. Dead band means Suppose uh, while we are using the weight measure, uh, measuring devices, at a low quantities of mass, uh, the measuring devices do not be showing any output. That low quantities can be called as uh, this dead band. So for the input for which there is no output. So that is what we call as dead band. So these all are static characteristics which are not changing with respect to time. Thank you.